Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you something completely different that I've done in the past. Um, not completely different, obviously it still has to do with makeup, but as you can see, it's very natural and very easy, very fast. So I've been doing my makeup like this lately. Very fast, very natural, very simple, no eyelashes, which is weird because every time I wear makeup, I feel like I have to wear eyelashes, you guys. I love eyelashes. I think I've been wearing eyelashes since I was 18 years old and I have not looked back because I just love the whole look. It just makes you look and feel like a whole different person and it makes your makeup just look better, I feel like. So eyelashes are a big Thing. I have so many of them I always purchase them and this is different because I'm not wearing any and it's just super simple like I said so let's get into the video so if you want to see how I achieve this look keep on watching all right guys let's just jump into it I already added moisturizer and my primer I'm using the master prime by Maybelline and I'm gonna be using the Revlon Candid Concealer. Alright, so let's just add this a little bit under the under eye on the eyelids because this is where I have the most discoloration. And just around this area right here and kind of smooth it out with my finger. There we go. Okay, moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using, uh, I think I'm going to be using the Cushion Foundation today. It has like a glowy look, very beautiful. This is a new one, but I'm going to be mixing it with another shade, which is, yeah, the Buff Beige and the Honey Beige. So I'm going to be mixing these two, and just with my um, Beauty Sponge. I'm just going to apply that all over the face. All right. So there's that, and for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline, and cover those dark circles. There we go, and blend, blend, blend. And now very lightly with uh, the Rimmel London Translucent Powder, I'm going to set that. And I'm just going to go with a brush and just dust it. I'm not going to go too heavy. Like so. My forehead on the chin. Oh, I just got stuff all over my shirt. Okay, guys, now for the uh, bronzer, I'm using the e.l.f. bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face to bring back some color. And now for blush, I'm going to use the Flower Blush. This is in the color Peach Primrose. So beautiful. If you just want like a natural hint of color, this is such a beautiful color. It just looks so soft. I love it. Now for highlighter, I am going to be using the Physicians Formula Strips Highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters when I'm going for a more natural look. It is such a beautiful highlighter. It's very soft, but it's still like 
you can tell that it has a beautiful shimmer shine and it just kind of makes your face you know a little bit glowy without being too much i love it and this is in the color vegas strip and i just gotta mix all these together and just add it everywhere there nothing to it just very fast now for the eyes you guys the eyes when i'm doing a natural quick look like today i of course i'm gonna add some concealer as a primer blend that blend it everywhere and i'll go ahead and set that and instead of using a translucent pattern i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna use the bronzer to set it just because right now the eyelids are looking super white so i'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and just kind of set this all over and I'm going back with the Physicians Formula highlighter and I'm just going to use my finger basically I'm just going to use the bottom ones these are more like a rose gold kind of shade and I'm going to grab a very generous amount with my finger and just apply it to the lid. I hope you guys can see how beautiful it is. It's so soft, very shimmery, so beautiful. Just add it to the eyelid and you are set. And I'm going to grab a uh, a brush and just kind of blend that all over and here's a trick you guys you can you can just leave it like this and go about your day or you can either grab the same blush that you used or the bronzer to kind of like do the outer corners and kind of add a little bit of color it's up to you I'm gonna use the blush just a little bit with my brush add it on the outer corner and kind of just blend those two colors together not a big deal you don't have to do this this is very optional not even necessary really just to kind of have or add just a little bit of a shape to it And that's it, you guys. You're all set with the face. Um, I am going to add mascara, of course. No eyelashes today. So I'm going to curl up my eyelashes and add mascara right now. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I love the Benefit Bang Mascara. You guys, I, here it is. I found it. This mascara is just so amazing. It makes my eyelashes look, it makes it look like I have eyelashes. Um, I don't, like my eyelashes are so small. That's why I always wear uh, fake eyelashes because I love like the full effect, very long eyelashes. But today I'm not wearing eyelashes. I'm just going to wear mascara and this is the perfect one. So let's get to it. Alright guys, and for lipstick, I'm going to go very neutral, very brownish kind of. So I'm going to be using the, um, what is this, Milani. I always conf I always say Maybelline, but it's Milani. This is the Matte Beauty. It's a beautiful brown. I love it. I'm just going to add some in the middle and then kind of I'm going to smooth it out with my finger so it's not too pigmented. And it just gives you 
a hint of color. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the Rimmel London lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's not sticky. It adds an extra shine, and it just looks so beautiful. I'm just going to add it everywhere. Make your lips glossy and make them look even bigger. This is clear, there's no sparkle, it's just a plain, beautiful, clear lip gloss. You can get this at any store for like $3. I love it so much. Alright guys, so that is it. The look is complete. I I did uh, mascara on my bottom lashes before I added um, setting spray. And every time I do that, when I add setting spray after the mascara, I get mascara all over my face so instead of spraying this directly to my face I'm gonna spray it on the um, beauty sponge and of course I'm using the elf setting spray because of course it's my favorite so I'm gonna spray it and then just dab 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 this all over there we go Alright guys, so this is the finished look. It's very simple, very natural, very fast. It's my go-to look when I want to do a very natural look. I know I don't, I don't usually do this. A lot of my videos are very dramatic, very full glam, very over the top, I feel like. I feel like all my looks are like that. Even when I go to home goods, you guys, like I feel like I need to have a full glam look on. So I'm starting to like tone it down just a tiny bit. Of course, I'm still gonna do makeup that is over the top, very glam, full of colors. But I wanted to show you guys why am I blurry? Okay, I wanted to show you guys adding, you know, this highlighter, whatever highlighter that you have, you don't have to have this highlighter. Um, Adding it for highlight, obviously, and then using it for eyeshadow is just very simple and quick. And then using a blush as an eyeshadow too, just, you know, you don't have to reach for different palettes, different highlighters, different blushes, or a, if you have time, you can, obviously. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye!